trying to get it the weave down here. Mm -hmm. Now imagine you got a big pack basket and, and all these all these ribs over here, they're just long, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and I, 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 I say these are like little kids, they're running mm -hmm. all over the place. They, you, well, you go like that, say, stay there, please. Mm -hmm. you don't stay there, you know? <laughs> and, and, and then you see, they go left and right and yeah, what yeah. have you, and you're constantly straightening them out as you're weaving it. Mm -hmm. and, you get the first one on there. The first one is going to be a little loose, but you get it on there as tight as you could. Mm -hmm. And then the second one, you're going to get it a lot tighter. Mm -hmm. And then you could take a break. Mm -hmm. If you're working on a big pack basket or a mm -hmm. big bassinet basket, and it's all popping around by the time you get the two on there, you, you need a little break. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it's real easy. Mm -hmm. and, and, but what, I, what I've done since then, I made for these baskets here, I made a sleeve. I slide it in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I let it dry overnight. Mm -hmm. And I take it out. They're all standing mm -hmm. straight like that. Mm -hmm. And you go to weave it. Real easy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not the hardest thing you do anymore. It's, yeah. it, it made it the easiest thing you do. Yeah. And if I start over here, I'm going around the corner, this one won't come, won't come off, and that's the only reason. If I was going the other way, I would start there and go this way, you know. If you're a left-handed person, that's what you would do. Okay, now over here, you see this one here is, this one is over this one. So I say over, under, over, under, over. Yep. And then that would tell you the next one would be what? Under. Under, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't want to put it under over here, because when you start it, under over here, after you open, take the form off of there, you look in there, you're going to see that little piece right there. Mm -hmm. You don't want to see that. So you're going to start on an over on the next one. So you see how it's going now? Okay, this over. This one here is over. Under, over, under, over. This one here, right? Mm -hmm. Then it's going to be under. Mm -hmm. So you see what? See what I'm saying there? Yeah. And, and you have to be careful sometimes that you have, you do a double, you don't want to have a double over. You see right there, that's a double over? Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't want a double over. Mm -hmm. So when, when it's like that, then you go to the next one. So if, when you start your basket, you're either going to start on this first one or on this second mm -hmm. one. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll, put it, I'll hold it down like that. And uh, I'd like to put where you start it about, about halfway, well halfway over here, because sometimes these things are moving, these ribs are moving, and so you're straightening them out. And if you're right at the edge and you have to move it a bit, then you go, it's going to come off of there. So about halfway, so if I have to move this to the left or right, it's not going to come off. You notice that right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now over, under, over, under, over, under, and now if you're going to make a mistake, the next one that tells you is, is, is going to be over, because you just did it under. If you're going to make a mistake, more than likely you're going to make it right here at the corner. Don't ask me why, but we mm -hmm. forget that it was under, and the next one has to be over. Just as soon as this turn is that much, you forget what it was. Mm -hmm. Somebody is there standing watching you and it looks like you're having trouble with it. They're trying to put their hands in there and you say, uh, no, just stay away because you know what your hands are doing. They don't know what your hands are doing. So now you see, and it still tried to come out some, but it didn't come all the way out. So make sure it's under, over, under, over, under and over. Now I'm back straight on, I'm on line with it. Okay, I'm going to come right over the top of it. Well, this one has to go under. 
Okay, now I come right over the top of it, and I'm gonna pull it as tight as I could. Okay, then I'm gonna go under it one time, and then you go over, and then you go under it one time. After, after that, you could cut it right there, or you could go right to the end if you want and cut it. But if you end up making it too short, and you have to put it, cut it over here, it's not that much room, or it could still back off. That's the only reason. But if you end up have to cut it there, you cut it there, and just don't let it. But make sure be aware that it won't back up on you. So you see, I cut it in about halfway yeah. over here. That way, when I cover it over here, if I have to move this left or right, <coughs> this piece is not going to come out right there. It's not going to peek out. And that right now, okay, you got that on there. You can't let go of it yet. Mm -hmm. So my next one, I'm going to start it right over here, and we start on an over. So I'm going to start it like right at the ends. Now, say it, be careful, there's a double on here. If you're a short one at the end, mm -hmm. that's why you got a double and there's one of them on there that's a double. Then you have two options. Make another one or take it apart, take that one off and continue. <laughs> okay, so now this the opposite over here. I'm going to start on an over, right? Okay, now this one going to go a lot easier than the very first one did. But you, like I said, you can't let go of it yet. And then at the same time, you see how right over here it came up uh, off the form, it's riding up. Mm -hmm. So I push, I'm pushing it down. So I push that one down, so the one above it, I have to push down. Now you see how they all moved over here? Mm -hmm. I'm going to straighten them up. I know where the center is. I remember the little squares on the bottom? Basically, this. you're looking at these to make sure they're about the same distance apart, you know. And the center, when you line it up, make sure the other side is lined up center to center across there. That way, because that's where your handle's going to be. If it's off a little bit, then your handle's going to be crooked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll push that down, I'll go right around, push that first one down, to the bottom of the four, and you notice the first one is a little bit loose, mm -hmm. you're never going to get it really tight tight, and then when I did that, now the, the, what, the second one is higher, mm -hmm. so I'll go around and I'll push. I'll push the second one down, and each time, you see how I'm straightening the ribs out over here? I'm looking for the center. I'm gonna push them all down. Now I'm ready to start another one. And this is where I start it. We know what a seam is, right? You don't want to have a seam going over here. So you could come over here and start over here. Or you could come over here and start over this one. Or you could come over here and start on this one. And then the next one on that, start on another side each time. That way you don't get a seam going and it keeps it, keeps it strong. And then you see how these moved up? Each time you put another, another ribbon on there, what I did, you push them down, you line everything up. Make sure your centers are one, two, three, four. See my centers right now? A little bit off. So you, you move them so they're straight across from each other. Each time you go around and they, they, they stay that way. And just keep going up. Get your first two on there and then uh, you take a little breather and we'll, we'll look at it. Okay, the, the tree, uh, the rings on the tree, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you pound it and that loosens the fibers holding it together. Okay. And they come up and then they call it a splint. There's one hanging yeah. up there, look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But these here, these here I got from a, from a Jack Lazor in uh, in Akazas. When I say split it, you're, you're, you're scarring it here and then you're opening it up and making two out of one. Mm -hmm. And if you don't cut deep enough, it's going to start and it's going to tear off. And you cut too deep, 
You'll have one thicker and one thinner. Mm -hmm. Depends what you're making. You could use the thinner one for uh, the ribbon and a slightly thicker one for your uh, rib because your rib is your frame yeah. and anything is just as strong as the frame is, right? The, the ribbon is just the skin that goes around there, you know? Mm -hmm. Just like us, we got skin here but itself it looks pretty strong or what have you but you can take it off really easy mm -hmm. and all the strength is your, your, your bones, mm -hmm. that's your frame, right? And so like all your splints, there's they're different, different thickness of the splint. And the splint is nothing more, it's one year's worth of growth on a tree. Did you ever take a, cut a tree down and, and take the bark off and it's all wet? All that, all that wet, that's a, a year's growth that started, it's going to be a, that year's growth. Mm -hmm. And depends on uh, the type of year, I guess, how much water it gets, how much nourishment it gets, uh, how much sun it gets. That how thick that splint's going to be. On some some time the splints are that, that thick. And in, in this case, like the too thick is no good. It's, it's, you can't split it. Mm. And it's, it's, you can't really use it. So you can use it for some the rims or something like that when mm. you want a more solid piece. And then some years where I don't get enough water, nourishment, sun or whatever, and it's real thin. And then again, it's no good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll, I'll buy a bundle of splint, and once I start to clean it, then one layer comes off. It's a real thing. But the other one layer, it, the groove of year before that, is thick enough that you could use. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes the whole splint is not good. The whole, what years did it go enough for? It's a real thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even care.